And I want other people to know that mental health and growing is a part of life and you need to be active about it. Changing your mindset will be life changing. Everybody will be different when it comes to their journey. A lot of people are just oblivious and out there trying to live life and they don't realize that their actions, good or bad, have consequences. It changes your life. It is life changing. Try it. Oh no, that was too cheesy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit different, but not so unique. <laughs> so this is going to be four different questions to ask yourself to jumpstart your mental health journey. These are the four that stuck out to me the most. These are not all my idea. Yes, I came up with this idea, but these questions are not very unique. They're kind of basic questions, but I think these four are the perfect four to just kind of get started with. So you can be aware of how you act, how you feel, and how you navigate through your feelings. All right, so let's get into it. Question number one would be, why do you think the way you do? So do you view money as a positive or a negative? Like if you have a lot of money, then that's kind of like a bad connotation assigned to it. Or do you just view it as neutral? Like money is a tool and that's it. You could be with a partner that views it very negatively and that person stays frugal. Ooh, I'm frugal. Or... That person could just not want to aspire to do things or achieve goals because they'll say more money, more problems. You never know, but you have to look at it. You have to think about it. So where did that come from? Now money was just an example, but you can think of other things. And when you do, you ask yourself, where did it come from? Like where did your view on that come from? Who around you contributed to that thought? And is there anyone in your life who kind of views it the opposite way? And if so, maybe talk to them about it. So if you view money as neutral, talk to somebody who views it positively. You never know what you'll get from that conversation or from that person. It's like most self-help books I read basically try to talk about the same thing or the same topic, the same idea that when you're trying to self-help, <laughs> when you're trying to help yourself and learn to grow and learn to evaluate yourself, they're going to talk about kind of like the same topics and try to open up your mind and broaden your horizons. Open up your mind and be more aware of your thoughts and yourself in general. It's like we get attached to our thoughts and our beliefs. Like we have to stay that way. We do not have to stay the same exact way or think the same way or do the same stuff. You can learn to change it. Number two, what are your mental preferences or habits? Me and my husband came up with this term mental preferences when we were getting into like small arguments about um, maybe why I believe the gas tank should never fall below half a tank and why he thinks it doesn't matter if it goes to 10 miles till empty. We called it mental preferences so we would be able to refer back to oh okay so this person has got it engraved that this is what they like or this is what they're used to. That way the other person is more lenient to maybe ask questions or just kind of be reminded and be more gentle to the answer or the conversation. Or to remind us that, well, just because that's your preference doesn't mean it has to stay that way either. So I just gave you the gas tank example. Another example would be do you like an organized house? Does everything have to have a home or are you more laid back? Do you like to schedule your time or do you like to just go with the flow and let things happen? Or are you both? 
Personally with me, I like to be more go with the flow when it comes to cleaning and organizing the house. But when it comes to other stuff, I like to plan it away. Well, try to plan anyways. Your preferences and your beliefs and the way you feel so strongly attached to certain things is going to affect people in your life, especially ones that are close to you that you would probably see on a daily or weekly basis. Obviously, people under the same roof would encounter more because they're living day-to-day -day life together, but still your family, your friends, people you try to see a lot, it will affect them. And if you're affecting someone and you don't even realize it because you can't ask yourself about yourself, that just seems complicated, you know? So if people were more aware, then problems could get fixed. Problems could get solved a little bit easier without it being a big thing or made into a big deal. Number three, do you pay attention to yourself and how you respond when someone comes to you to vent? AKA, do you think you're a good listener? And why do you think you're a good listener? Does that person just need to vent and you need to listen? Or are they looking for a response as far as advice? Or do they just want comfort? Has anyone ever came to you and was really upset and they were trying to vent to you and you thought it would be comforting to reply back with a similar situation that they're describing? And it just comes off more so like you're putting the attention on yourself, but you are trying to relay the message of, I want to comfort you. I've been through the same thing. You're not alone. I've done that. And it's always come across very negatively, even though I'm trying to communicate a positive response. We all perceive, we all think things differently. So it would just be really helpful if people paid attention to how they respond to other people and how they listen. All right, number four, what are your self discoveries if you have any? And have you questioned yourself about any of the actions you have had in the past or present? Maybe something's happening right now and the way you're responding is just not working for you. Really question your beliefs and your actions towards other people and question how you respond to somebody when they come to you about an issue. I remember when I first started realizing that I was trying to grow. And I remember when I first started questioning myself and really evaluating my actions and my feelings. It felt really awkward and I remember feeling like describing it as, wow, I'm judging myself. I'm legitimately judging myself. And the more I thought about it and the more I talked about it with my husband, the more it felt right. Okay, I'm proud of myself for realizing maybe when I said this, that wasn't okay. Or maybe I took a different approach to something that wasn't the correct way, the correct way. Or I could have done better. I started feeling more empowered, more independently empowered. Like I was building myself. I was motivating myself and I was in control of how I responded to things within my life and my choices and my actions. It was the greatest feeling I've ever felt in my adulthood. And this was seven or eight years ago. Obviously there's no one size fits all and this will work differently for different people. Maybe this isn't your thing and that is okay. Find out what is, find out what works for you. Everybody will be different when it comes to their journey. Don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed and just be proud that you're actually trying. A lot of people are just oblivious and out there trying to live life and they don't realize that their actions, good or bad, have consequences. An example would be the tripod collapsed on my cell phone and chipped and cracked my phone screen. So 
Of course I was upset, but after a few minutes, I chose to pick myself back up and be happy and excited to film and be excited to start this video. These videos have a purpose. They have a cause. And that's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for other people to have an, another outlet to help them get through their day or to help calm their mind at night when they can't sleep. I obviously don't have all the answers. I am definitely not perfect, nor am I trying to achieve perfection. I'm just trying my best and I wanna contribute something. I want, to, as I said before in my first video, I want to help other people and I want other people to know that mental health and growing is a part of life and you need to be active about it. You should try to be active about it. And I hope we can join together and be there for one another. Another video contributed to the world in spite of all the negative things going around. So this video is going to be a part of the challenges playlist and this will be super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you next week with another video. Bye. Do you ever feel like the lighting just does something to your face? <laughs> For example, do you, you, uh, my day has got me going crazy. I think I need a water. No. Okay. That's a little better. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening to my voice, but, um, I'm losing her. She doesn't like me right now. Some people view my money. <laughs> Why can't I talk? What is happening with my mouth right now? <laughs> Ooh, I need a thumbnail. Four questions. So you roll the girl. I still see my pink and gray hairs. Life is getting real. Bye.